The grounds of pictured rocks in Michigan's Upper Peninsula have many great sights to see. Even better are the views from Lake Superior. Pictured Rocks is named for the colorful sandstone cliffs along the shoreline. Pictured Rocks National Shoreline stretches 15 miles from Munising, Michigan, past the dunes near Grand Marais. The beautiful scenery attracts kayakers, paddleboarders, and boaters. To get onto the water, we use Seaberg pontoon rentals. The family-run business was a pleasure to work with. The friendly staff gave us advice, instructions, and we were off. I took the wheel for our first time boating on Lake Superior. We headed north toward Grand Island. Appropriately named, Grand Island is known for its beaches, cliffs, old growth forests, biking and walking trails. Our goal was to find the Bermuda Shipwreck in Murray Bay. The Bermuda is a 150-foot wooden schooner that originally sank in 1870. In 1883, the Bermuda was towed to Murray Bay and some of the cargo was recovered. The lifting chain slipped and the vessel sank once again. While traveling south out of Murray Bay and then east, you will be able to see another item of historical significance. Construction of the East Channel Light was done between 1868 and 1870. The light shined until 1907. After falling into disrepair, private citizens restored the foundation and tower in the early 2000s. Following the mainland shoreline northeast, you will come upon Miner's Castle Rock. It was named by miners looking for minerals in 1771. A second turret was lost in 2006 because of a rock fall. This landscape is still changing. While this shouldn't stop you from enjoying this area, it is something to be aware of. In August of 2019, John Smithers and Craig Blacklock captured some incredible footage. The cliff collapsed 50 feet from a group of kayakers. Luckily, everyone was okay. Another collapse happened in 2022. Natural forces are incredibly powerful. Oh guys, we're gonna get, we're gonna get some... They continue to create the beauty of this shoreline. Near Miner's Rock is Miner's Beach. This sandy beach is nearly a mile long. Elliott Falls can be seen on the eastern end. Bridal Vale Falls can be seen in the spring. In summer, it often slows to a trickle. When active, it is Michigan's tallest waterfall. The majestic cliffs can reach 200 feet above sea level. Continental drift, glaciers, water and weather have all impacted this land. The middle layer is the 500 million year old Munising Formation. The rock in this layer is generally white or light gray. Below is the older red rock of the Jacobsville Formation. The hard sandstone of the Autrain Formation above acts as a cap for the other layers. Pictured rock signature colored streaks are created when groundwater seeps through the cracks. Water dripping or evaporation leaves deposits based on the minerals. Iron creates the red streaks. Manganese produces black and white. Limonite creates streaks of yellow and brown. Copper can make blue and green streaks. Other minerals can have impacts as well. The rocks underneath the crystal clear water look cool as well. An impressive archway that is formed is called Lover's Leap. 
Legend has it that a Native American woman jumped to her death here after her lover failed to return from a hunting trip. Another tells of a couple who jumped to prove their love. It is recommended that lovers do not leap, however, as the water here is shallow. Not far from Lover's Leap is Mosquito Beach. Unlike Miner's Beach, which is a short walk from the parking lot, this one requires a four-mile round-trip hike. Can you see a face here? One of the larger rock formations is often called Indian Head Rock. The Ojibwe tribes were the first people to live and travel these lands. Ships were once able to travel through Grand Portal Arch. A ceiling collapse in 1906 ended that. Another during the winter between 1999 and 2000 now blocks the kayakers. One spot popular with the kayakers is Rainbow Cave. This large, deeply cut sea cave has heavily stained walls. Sea caves of various sizes have been carved out along the shoreline. Battleship Row has formations that look similar to the sterns of ships. Beyond the formation is Chapel Beach. This picturesque beach is set among sandy bluffs. The hike to this beach is about six miles round trip. Travelers love to play in the Chapel Beach Falls, which empties into Lake Superior. Not far from the beach is Chapel Rock. This iconic structure was created by thousands of years of erosion. A land bridge that once connected Chapel Rock to the mainland collapsed in the 1940s. The white pine atop Chapel Rock is believed to be 250 years old. It's amazing to see how the trees grow on these cliffs. Spray Falls seemed to be the destination the day we were there. The impressive falls drop 70 feet from the top of the cliff. If you're on a pontoon, stay clear of the bigger ships. We caught a ship's wake at the wrong angle and half of us on the boat got soaked. Still, it was a great experience and one that we would recommend. We spent four and a half hours on the pontoon and saw many beautiful sights. Time well spent. We would also recommend this video set in the Upper Peninsula.